Hey guys, so for this video, I will have to make it on Premiere Pro, even though it's going to be a short video, because I'm going to have to take a few clips to show you guys the honey, but this is some honey my brother paid for. I went with my dad to get it at Costco, but it's some new honey they sell. Um, it's another early birthday gift. It was $11.99, and I've never seen this there before. It's called, uh, it's by Wolf. W-O-L-F-E, creamed raw organic honey, pure unpasteurized. On here is the uh, nutrition facts per one tablespoon, 60 calories. And I won't like, I guess you can pause there if you want to read all that, but it's a mix of Brazilian and Canadian honey. So yeah, I'm just going to open it. And we're going to try it out together. Let me just grab my coffee mug here. So I brewed um, some more level ground coffee this morning. We're almost done the first bag. So that's what we've got here. So yeah, going to pour that into my coffee mug. Okay, here we go. So I got my coffee mug here, and yeah, sorry about the counter. I did clean it in that one video, but it already got dirty pretty fast, so I'm holding the phone with one hand, so usually I pour it over the sink because it tends to spill a bit, but for the sake of this video, I'll show you how high I usually pour the coffee. That's about how high I pour it because I like to fill the rest with cream and sugar. But yeah, today we're going to be putting some of this honey in it. So yeah, let's put the phone right here. Let's make sure it's dry. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to open it for you guys. Okay, so this is what the top looks like. Let's see how easy this is to get off. I cut my nails very short all the time. Oh gosh, hopefully I don't have to use scissors. Okay, I'm gonna just try making a puncture through it. There we go. I'll just have to rinse these scissors off after. Okay, let's turn the taps on. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is really sticky, so obviously I can't touch my phone after. Oh, I just got some on my shirt. So that's what it looks like on the seal. I'm not going to save what's on the seal because it's just too sticky to try to get off with a spoon. And Okay, so you're going to toss that. going to rinse these scissors off. Okay, so I'm back now, and here is the inside of the honey. So... I was a little worried it might be like one of those super hard honeys when you open it up, but this is actually really gooey. So yeah, I'm just going to estimate how much to put in. I'm just going to start with a spoonful and then mix in some cream. So let's get out some cream. And I'm guessing this is the one that's opened already. Let me check. Yeah. We got 10% cream, so yeah. I'm just going to turn the water back on in case I need to rinse the spoon off again. Okay, so I'm going to start with... This is a... Okay, maybe I should... Yeah, there we go. It's very messy, so you got to be careful with this particular honey. It doesn't come in a squeeze bottle. So that's about how much I'm using. If you want to try that amount, gonna mix it in now in my cat mom mug. Okay, it's still gotta mix it. Don't mix in the cream first because you want it to dissolve in the hot coffee. Okay, it's almost done dissolving. I got the water running that way in case I need to add more honey. I can rinse off the coffee in a spoon first so I don't get it in the honey. 
because I would like to maybe try this out in some tea. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to mix in my cream. Sorry about my nose running. I'm just having terrible allergies the past few months. can't taste anything, wow. Okay, I'm gonna add like at least two more spoonfuls, so. Can't taste any sweetness, wow. Guess you gotta add a lot. Hopefully it'll still dissolve since I've already added the cream, so let's add. Oh my gosh, this is so messy, wow. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to do it so it doesn't fall off the bottom, but... Wow, it's just so gooey. So there is one more spoonful and then I'm gonna add one more. Actually, I'll give it a quick taste test with the second spoonful. See, it's... Okay, luckily it's still dissolving with the cream in there. I was a bit worried once I added the cream if it would still dissolve. Okay, now we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna give it another taste test. Okay, part two. Okay, that's like perfect. Not too sweet and not too undersweet. So yeah, you could even add like two and a half if you want it slightly sweeter, but I don't like it like sickeningly sweet. So my uh, best recommendation is for a big spoon, use two large, like pretty heaping spoonfuls of this Honey, and once again, this is the brand. Oh, that's the French side. The Creamed Raw Organic Honey by Wolf, W L F E. Yeah, so let's turn the water on and let's put the lid back on the cream. I'm just going to put this back here. So let's see how well it seals back up. I'll probably use this every day until I'm done it um, in replace of sugar because honey is pretty healthy. So just going to put the cream back now. So just want to give it one more sip here to go suck in a pinion. Yeah, not too sweet, not too undersweet. So yeah, that's my review on this. I give this honey, like, compared to other honeys, like, an, it does taste better than, like, regular honey. So I give it, like, probably a 7.5 out of 10. So yeah, that's my honest review of this honey. And if you try it, let me know what you think. Okay. Bye.